What's going on YouTube? This is EDG AR15 coming at you again with another review. This time we're taking a look at my BMT APC9 Pro chamber 9mm. Uh, I got this uh, gun back in December. You know, a little Christmas present for me. Uh, I've been looking at these guns for ever since they won the Army contract. They really caught my attention. Uh, and then I just wanted one ever since. So I finally got one. But this is just a quick video on it. You know, I've been wanting to make a video since I got it, just haven't had the time to do it. So I'm finally taking the time out now to, to finally get it done. Uh, this is also a quick little video of showing you what I kind of carry every day. Because I, my uh, everyday carry, I usually carry this inside my backpack. And I carry this on my uh, on my waistband concealed. So it's just a quick little video to show you how, how I carry and, 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 uh, and what I carry. So anyways guys, um, let's talk about the BMT. Uh, APC9 Pro first. Uh, this is a, a Swiss made gun, made in Switzerland. Very nice, very nice gun. The action is very nice. There you go. Lock, uh, hold open. All my guns been safety checked. You know they have no rounds in them, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, very very smooth gun, guys. Very smooth action. You know, pretty sure if you've seen this video, you probably seen other videos like it. And it's true, man. It's it's very, very smooth. Very smooth. Um, it comes in this 30 round mag, transparent mag. Very nice. But it's freaking expensive, guys. Freak like $47. I've been seeing them. And that's if you can find them. I haven't found any. So this is the only one I have for now. Kind of waiting for Big Daddy to finally get them back in stock again. So that way I can order a couple of them. But I mean, for what they are, guys, they're they're freaking pricey, man. Can't wait to aftermarket start making some a little bit cheaper. But you know, other than that, they're pretty good mags. Uh, what it comes with, stock. Uh, doesn't come with this uh, grip. It comes with a, a different grip. I actually put this Magpul K grip. I love the way it looks, and I love the way it feels. It feels perfect for this gun. It's nice and skinny. The whole gun is nice and skinny, so everything's just real thin on it. And, I, and this freaking grip goes perfect with it so i'm glad i changed that out it comes with this sling just h and k type hooks here sling slings right in here i don't know what kind of what kind of cord is this i don't know i don't think it's paracord it's a little bit smaller but that comes uh stock with that and for what it is i mean this this sling does its job you know what i mean that's what it's supposed to do so can't complain about that and there's no need to change that out guys it works just just fine 100% ambi, ambi safety, ambi mag release, ambi bolt catch, one there, one there, and release. You got, you can uh, charge it from either side, which that's pretty cool. I love the APC9 Pro version because they got these ears that just like fold down, which I think that's freaking sweet. Not only that it looks really nice, it functions very well as well. You don't have to worry about switching on the other side if you want to, you know, just they're just right there ready to go that's pretty nice these uh bmt polymer sites that uh, they do what they're supposed to do pretty much backup sites can't really use them with the uh, with this uh red dot that i'm that i'm using right now because it's kind of in its way so if i really had to use them i'll have to take this quick detach and, and just take it off and then be able to use it i didn't want to put a real high one a uh, high mount on that because one thing is gonna be in my book bag, and it's gonna, and then I just that it looks real goofy the way it is, real high. So I just try to cap it nice and uh, nice and short. And uh, speaking of optics, I put a RMR RM06 uh, 3.25 MOA dot on that. It's red dot. It takes the battery, so it's uh, adjustable. This is the Type One version. I had to take this off of my uh, FNX Tactical just because I was getting that problem of it shutting off and turning back on with recoil. So I just took it off and, and put it on this. Uh, I ordered the the American Defense Mount, low mount for it. And it works great. Yeah, so you can't use the polymer sights, but I mean, it's freaking awesome, that little red dot. This combination is sweet. I love it. I love the way it shoots. Uh, I love the little dot. It's nice and crisp. 
Um, I love that this is, like I said, it's, it's a quick, quick detach. Pull it, take the whole, the whole off that comes off. If it goes down or something, you can just use your, your irons. I took my Enforced Weapon Light off of my Scar 16. This is the WMLX, the long version. You know, I, I like, I like how this button is right there, real easy to use, easy to turn off and on if you have to. And then you got the momentary on, momentary off, to where you can just push it, let go. That's pretty cool. And I got that strobe feature. Push it twice, you get that strobe. 800 lumens coming out of that bad boy, so it's pretty nice. And but I'm gonna buy the shorter version just because it's not so long. And it looks real goofy out there, even though it lights up everything. That's the good thing about that being where's it at it lights up everything there's no casting no shadows or nothing the short one is not gonna have that much anyways so I, it'll be all right if i just get the short one so that's on there it's not threaded but it does have the h and k style uh system to suppress which is the the three lug three lug suppressor system which that's going to come in handy once i get my dead air wolfman real easy to attach that suppressor that you know, it's just as easy as any of the, the newer ones. And it's an old design, guys. It's crazy. And the good thing about BMT is that they got such a close relationship to to H and K that they, they they make quality just as just as well as they do. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You know, if if it it says something if they won the army contract, you know, even though it was the most expensive gun, but they won that contract, you know, that, that says something. You know, that means this, this gun's pretty much bomb proof. That's the reason I got it as well. But yeah, guys. Uh, so far, I have about, uh, I want to say about, about 400, 400 rounds through it. Uh, most of it's ball. Now, reliability within hollow points, guys. I shot some, some Winchester, some Winchester white box. And I shot some Federal uh, P plus P ammo. I'm not sure if the barrel is rated for that, but I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, it's it, after all, it's it's a machine gun, you know. Well, now, this is not a machine gun, but it's it's the same barrel they put on their machine guns. So I'm pretty sure it can uh, uh it can upstand those pressures. But I was getting failures like crazy with the Winchester white box stuff, guys. After like 60 rounds that I put in, I think I had about six or seven failures. I'll see if I put some pictures down in the in the video. But uh, I was getting failures like crazy with that stuff. Um, I asked one of my buddies what he thought about it. And, you know, he told me that, well, these guns, since there are, you know, they're military. You know, they do it for the military first or whatever. They usually don't shoot hollow points through them. And so they more... They're more focused on just ball, so that's why sometimes your submachine guns don't really uh well not submachine guns but you know your SMGs they don't typically shoot uh, hollow points very well, so that's probably what the issue with this is. But the the Federal uh, P plus P ammo uh, 115 grain I shot I think I had shot 20, then I shot another 50 and I didn't have no fillers with that, so hopefully. Hopefully, and I'm going to do a little more research about the barrel if it is, you know, shouldn't be no problems with it, which I'm pretty sure there isn't. I'm just going to keep that in the in the mags, guys, because after shooting that, you can really tell the difference in velocity between plus P plus. I'm sorry, did I say P plus P? Oh my. It's plus P plus ammo compared to just regular ball. It's it's a big difference, and, and I can tell that that thing was cycling freaking sweet, guys. That thing, that thing, that thing got some pressure behind it. I'm pretty sure they're going about 1300 1330 feet per second compared to the regular hollow points or just ball going around 1100 so you can tell you can tell the difference hopefully if i test more of that that ammo and it does cycle it reliably that that's what's going to be in here also maybe the difference is because of the type of bullet that it is which i have one of each here this is the plus p plus from federal 115 I should have ah, there's the Winchester. If you can tell in the bullets, guys, in the way that they're shaped, see this one's more of a rounded bullet compared to this one. This one has like a longer nose, which maybe that's the problem. This was more rounded, like this one looks more like a typical 
ball ammo compared to this one. So maybe that's the, the reason why this is not as reliable as this because of the shape that they are. So maybe that could be it. Who knows? But like I said, if it keeps feeding this without no problems, that's what's going to be in this gun. Let's move on to my everyday carry, guys. I carry a Glock 19 Gen 5. Safety. Safety check. Nothing in there. Uh, I carry it inside the waistband because in Florida you're not allowed to open carry, which sucks. I know. Uh, we have to conceal carry. I'm using this uh, Bravo Concealment holster inside the waistband. Well, actually, this is their BCC to where you can switch it inside or outside, however you like. To switch it from inside, you've got to buy these uh, these paddle things right here. And it works pretty good. It's pretty comfortable as well. I have it uh, where it's riding up high like this instead of like that. It's just the way I prefer it. Uh, I have a the Surefire X300 light mounted to it. This is a uh, thousand lumens. It's very nice light, very bright. Got a nice spill to it, and uh, and it got a really nice hot spot as well. That that's that's pretty cool. I like the hot spot and I like the spill. You know, there's some lights that have just a really good hot spot, and there's some that just have a really good spill. This does a good job for both guys with both. I changed out the barrel. I put this Surefire barrel. I think it's mid. I think Seth makes this barrel, but nobody less Surefire. You know, pretty cool. It matches the barrel and the light. I have some Trijicon high sight suppre suppressor sights. Uh, I already have them. I just don't have the the little tool to take the back one out. I'm either gonna purchase that or I'll probably just take it to my buddy's shop and have him put it on. But I am gonna put that on. The only other thing that I'm gonna do to this is just put a red dot on it, guys. I'm gonna get the RMR just like that, but the Type 2. Uh, probably the same 3.5 MOA. Just because give me that little bit bigger dot. And that will be on this, guys. Before I do that, I want to get really good with these irons. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much a stock Glock. Holds 15 rounds. I might just buy one of those uh, Glock 43s. Oh, uh, no, Glock 48s just to have it. Um, but this is still going to be my primary, you know, everyday carry gun. But, yeah, guys. Oh, I forgot. This is how uh, we got my uh, SOCOM 16 and my M9A3 with us, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful firearms. You know, old, old designs. Both of them very old. Um, this one, oh man, I love this gun. Chamber in 308. Damn, it's such a beautiful gun. Very nice to shoot too. You get that recoil going back to you. It feels great. You know, that power, you can feel that power behind it. When I shoot my scar, I don't really feel that power. But when I shoot this, I feel it. And, and it just tickles me every time I shoot it, man. It's crazy. But this right here, guys, this is one of the smoothest triggers I have ever felt inside of a, for a um, hammer striker. Very nice trigger. They did a very good job on that trigger, guys. Um, chamber 9mm, of course. You know, hold 17 rounds. It is a big gun for what it is, guys, but hey, it's a beautiful design. It's a beautiful gun. I like how slick it is. It fits my get my hand very well compared to the, the bigger ones because I have, you know, small, uh, medium to small hands, I guess. So, you know, that's that. But yeah, guys, very nice. I love it. I carry this in a book bag. This flips over. Oh, and this, I put this as well, this aftermarket, the, the SB Tactical. It doesn't come with it buy it separately which is not that expensive actually it's actually i don't know why their prices are so different between this gun and this gun they're pretty much you know identical except for this part right here and the way they they attach but this is about almost three times the price as this it's crazy I don't know, maybe because it's rare, you can't find them. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know why they do that. And also, I had to buy this in, in hnk.net, so that's probably that's probably why as well. But putting these two guns side by side, guys, this is pretty much the modern MP5. You know, that's pretty much what it is. Look at that. Two beautiful guns. 
very reliable, very respected firearm, especially this one. The only difference, guys, I would carry this one over this one if it, this one had the ergonomics as this one does. I'll tell you the truth. I love the way this one shoots. This one shoots very nice. Very flat. You know, the recoil, hardly there because of the roller design. But, like I said, this one, this one had the ergonomics as this one. And the safety and bolt release and bolt catch as as this one does i'll be carrying this one guys but yeah guys nevertheless i'm happy to have them both and both of these guns are gonna outlast me and outlast probably my kids trust me <clears throat> and a little sneak peek of a video that i'll be doing next this tommy built Beautiful baby. Very nice. This is my newest gun that I have bought so far. <clears throat> but yeah, guys. That's my uh, my video. I will be uh, uh, rolling some uh, footage of me shooting these uh, together. So uh, tell me what you think. And let me know if any of y'all have a BMT. As, like this one have the same problems feeding, uh, feeding hollow points. You know, just comment down below or whatever and just let me know what's your experience like. I'm going to keep testing it, especially now that I am already in the process of uh, building my range. Hopefully, I'll be testing it more and figuring that myself. But but just leave a comment below, guys, of what y'all think. Um, yeah, if y'all have one or you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to try to reply as soon as I can, guys. Uh, once again, I appreciate you watching this. This is EDGAR15. And I'm out, guys. Okay, guys, this is about... Roughly about seven yards from my paper target. I'm gonna try to put in five shots to the heart with my BMT and then uh, trans transition to my pistol and put five shots in the heart. All right. Just going a little higher. All right, guys, we're gonna be shooting those uh, three uh, steel gongs there, roughly about 15 yards away. We got the four inch, six, eight, six inch, and eight inch. So yeah, guys, let's do this. It's hot.
that was a load of fun guys see very easy to transition with this uh rmr red dot very easy to get those little uh those little gongs man it's, it's a lot of fun a lot of fun guys let's try that one more time Got about I'm guessing 11, 11 rounds left. So I'm just gonna empty it on that. See if I can get all 11 in there. It's a I think a, a C zone uh, or 50% C zone, something like that. It's 7 by 14. So let's see. This is about 50 yards from where where it's at. So let's go ahead and send it, guys. Let's see where we at. Dial this back up a little bit. With these guys, the the ones that I did miss, I was just rushing it. 